Hey, it's me. Kill me without the K. Kill me. When I started the social media journey, there were so many obstacles. I see it. So many excuses. I shouldn't do this. Who's gonna listen to 50 something years old? Very black haired woman with English as her second language. Who wants to hear that? Or who wanna see? What is she eating? Who cares about those? But oh, I was wrong. When I try to lose weight, there are so many informations out there. There were so many diet to follow. Sound sexy. It will give me ultimate body. What I wanted, six packs, nice perky bun, and never gonna get sick. Eating those super food or wild fish. What I realized that is though, there are so many researchers are still finding new information every day. And you eat this much, you eat this food, you eat that food, make a half plate with vegetables and you wanna be happy and healthy and be skinny. And you may have a six packs. I follow some, so many years, too long maybe. Oh, I'm hungry. But there are so many gaps between the academics and scholars and everyday people like me. I see the gap in the doctors and researchers saying, don't eat the farmed fish. You eat only organic food. You need the omega-3s, but don't eat the, don't eat the big fish, like tuna and salmon more than twice a week. Don't eat the red meat. It will clog your arteries. Chickens are bad. They are all fed with the grains. You don't want to build up your body with chicken fed with the grains. So many don't. Don't do it. Don't do that. But where are those? What can I do? What to do is missing. Maybe many of us scholars or elites, they did good in school because they have a good skills to memorize things. They went to school, they became that professions. Maybe many of them are missing emotional, intellectual. They don't understand that everyday people like me, people who are struggle to put the, our food on the table, organics and a wild fish, not everybody can afford it. Those gaps between the elite people and me, what to eat? Okay, I can eat wild fish twice a week. Then what else can we eat rest of the days? And I eat organic pepper. And when I'm hungry, what am I feeling with my tummy? Am I still eating my fillers like pastas, rice, corns? When I go to grocery shopping, I tend to look at people's cart, shopping cart before they put it on the convey belt. I can see who's hurting. Maybe those academics and elite scholars, even people so-called practitioners are like a celebrities. They live on the cloud with their not very grounded incomes. They can spare all those organic food, wild fish. Not everybody can afford this. I started to show my plate, what I'm eating on the breakfast or lunch or dinner. And I once in a while, I indulge once in a week. I indulge and I had no idea this would make people to grip what to do, what to eat. And uh, news outlets like medias, they are not that different either. They are selling the sensationalism. Of course, sensationalism is sexy to sell. Eating the egg is as bad as smoking the tobaccos. And those titles, headlines, stick to the head of the most people, many people, many of us, because many people don't read the actual articles, scan it, all those headlines. So definitely, those headlines are selling. Who knows? One day, Miss Oprah want to talk to me. Maybe some people might be interested in to hear everyday people's struggles. 
like my stories or your stories. Manifesting. <laughs> so anyways, thank you so much for you to tune in and leave a comment and give me a thumbs up and listening to my stories and look at my plate that warm my heart. Now I know everyday people like me can represent everyday people like you. I see your struggles. I've been there. I was one of them. Just be free from the my weight problems. And I get at least I can do something about the body what I have. Maybe that will move my life a little bit easier. Me making plate every day, it's not made for Instagram picture perfect. I make that plate for me to eat. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian. I'm just very friendly neighborhood, your neighborhood, personal trainer with very big smiles. I'm not just a normal person who like to hear the stories. And I like to tell the stories from those stories I collect. And I'm promoting to drink, for you to drink more water. It's not sexy. Eat your vegetables. It's not sexy. Eat your chicken. Eat your nuts. If you like to eat cheese, eat some cheese. But I stick with a one quarter cup. I know that's not sexy. I didn't fall for this. But drink water, honestly. Drink water. Have some celery. Doesn't have to be salad. It's just chopped up veggies. Have some rice. Have some beans. Expand your palate to other food, like a nattos, fermented food. Yeah, nattos. Or kimchi. Drink water. You may lose weight if you drink enough water. Four liters a day. Plain water would make you lose weight. But you have to drink it. Those are not sexy. I remember I fall for Aptronics. I don't know if you ever, anybody remember this. Do you know those belt give you the electric shocks on the belly and supposedly contract your abs, give you a six packs. That's a sexy, right? Butter in the coffee, that's a sexy. You know what else is a sexy? Organic mac and cheese sexy but not every sound sexy works for you or it didn't work for me how to is missing how much is a six ounce of a protein how big is 170 grams of a protein is a tomato veggies or fruits vegetables as a carbs following all those details too much it's complicated you complicated me that's why it's so hard for me to ground it with all those information I'm gathering, full of information from everywhere. But now I am down to making a plate, one meal at a time. Include the vegetables, protein, and carbs. And eat your fat too. And drink water. Drink water. More water. And get moving. Lift heavy. Maybe you can start with a water bottle. Maybe you can start with a laundry detergent. Lift it heavy. Doesn't sound sexy. But so many of you find that's helpful. I am so thankful for that. One day, maybe I can represent this everyday people's notions about this side of life. And just a simple meal. One plate at a time. And one day, you realize you are free from the weight problem we've been having all along. Thank you for your support. More than 100,000 of you tune into my story and looking at my plight. Thank you.